No, no, come on. Hey, Best Pally, I'm Allie, and I spend too much time on the toilet. Ugh, it's not my fault. Stupid social media is so engaging. Forget that I've been here for hours looking like the thinker. So I am on a mission to create the least comfortable toilet possible. Ow! To do this, I will use the material that is universally known to be the number one enemy of human flesh with pressure applied. How many Legos to make a toilet? It's weird how Google never seems to work for me. To estimate this, Nathan Sawoya is a fellow Lego fine artist. Yes, my toilet creations are fine art, and oops, you're accidentally an art connoisseur. This famous one of Sawoya's sculptures is made of 11,014 Legos, and that seems toilet-sized, right? My torso is definitely approximately precisely commode volume. Here we go, 1,100. I need 10. Ah, uh, I can only get five. Okay, Fate says I only need 5,500 Legos. No, fate lies. These are tiny little pieces. I can't create my masterpiece with that. I need only bricks. Uh, I can only get five again. Oh, but I can check out with five and then check out with five. Yes, and then check out with a third five. Now that's 4,800 headed to me, but they're not gonna show up for a while. Okay, I found some faster ones. Let's just get five of these two. Oh, it goes to 30? I could have 30,000 bricks delivered to my home. No, we're already past torso quantity. Just stick with five. Well, I thought I'd return the slow ones, but they all ended up here together. Now we're at 9,800 bricks, plus the crappy small ones. That's 15,300 Legos. I don't know how this happened. I just ordered in five. Shall I dump them all into a pile, even though I don't know if I need them? That would be stupid. So yes, you may have noticed these are not Legos. We we don't have a brand name budget for this creation, but we do have a budget because thank you to my Patreon supporters for making this possible. This nonsense is in my house ready to become an outrageous creation because of you. And if you want to be the reason I can make more ridiculous things exist in the world, join my Patreon and I will be over -toyed. I mean, overjoyed. <laughs> this unboxing was a great idea. I want to go back in time and tell kindergarten me what her job is going to be. Of course, I'll leave out all the things she has to deal with behind the scenes. Wow, in here this feels like way too plenty. This inability to estimate materials is I ended up with 60 pounds of chia seeds and three different chia artworks. And in case you were worried, I did disinfect my entire art studio first. And there was a little bit of chia still hanging out. Let's start with a conservative 5,000. I don't really have a plan here, just let go for it. Wow, this is way harder than I expected. And I expected hard. I'm trying to use as little Legos as possible. And that keeps happening. Wow, just this part has taken me two and a half hours so far. Every surface I'm building on is curved, even the floor isn't flat, and it's causing almost constant collapses. It's impossible to put any big chunk back in place if it breaks off. No. Everything around it just crumbles when you try. Stop, please. Ugh. Redoing a part that I already did is so disheartening. Every time I try and fix a spot, it just falls apart worse. No, no, come on. I am now swearing about Legos. It's because I keep feeling like I'm getting somewhere and then crash. My hours of work are wasted and I have to put in more hours redoing it. Okay, trying to even the floor with plastic really helped. It's working. We're on hour nine of building and I'm finally making significant progress and it's looking great. The random colors are not random. I actively wanted this assortment because the final product will immediately say to the viewer, toy blocks, which it wouldn't if it was some specific design or all one color. I'm putting so much care into this now, making the front perfectly symmetrical. I am now crying about Legos. I understand that seems ridiculous, but I'm this upset because I care so much about what I create and the videos that I make for you. I've been a creator for over nine years and I've never missed a published date that entire time. And it has never been easy. I finish one project and then have to immediately sprint on the next. It feels like every video I barely eke out in time, but I put so much importance and self-worth on staying consistent on my channel and I only have two more days to finish. Otherwise I have no video this week. Then I proceeded to completely redo the last four hours while sobbing. I worked all day yesterday until 11.30 p.m. I skipped working out and eating, so I'm now on hour 36 of a fast, and I have a hesitant belief that I can pull this off. Pulled that off. Last night I basically couldn't sleep because I kept having visions of coming back and seeing the sides having fallen and smashed on the floor. When I left, they were even more wobbly than the front. I am frantic to figure out how to get this structure built over the top to help hold it together. Wait, is this working? Honestly, I can't believe it. Yes, yes, yes! I feel so much better now that the sides are connected. Ugh, oh, how awesome. Oh, did you think I was done? I could technically sit on it right now and the Lego toilet would serve its function, but we also care about form. A completely Lego toilet is so much more outrageous. Of course we're doing the tank. The 
the highest execution of absurd. I am not making the same mistakes from the bottom, now going double thick using a ton of Legos. It is so much fun and feels amazing to finally be in control of the medium, though still incredibly difficult and physically taxing after 16 hours of building so far. My hands are killing me right now. I've got broken nails, some of them are not clicking into place. It takes so much pressure and you can tell when it's not right. Come on, there we go, ugh. The first day was 14 hours of building, yesterday was eight. My forearms are killing me from squeezing Legos so much and I actually have a brush burn from grabbing Legos and brushing past my jeans. Also, the bathtub has a brush burn from my jeans rubbing over it. But we are so close. This is happening. Now I gotta figure out the top. I want it to have the same haphazard feel as the rest of the toilet, so I'm not just making it two solid, even layers. I usually listen to audiobooks when I create things, but with this project, I have no idea anything that was read to me because placing every piece perfectly takes every bit of my constant attention and focus. Focus. For a total of 22 hours. A crown for my throne. There we go. Oh wait, now I can't flush it. One of these came in every Lego package. I didn't know what it was for until now. But it Perfect. Now just adding more time because I feel like it needs a lip down into the bowl to be more aesthetically pleasing. Totally worth it. Also, the yellow bricks on the seat feel extra weird. Based on what's left over, this final piece makes 4,752 Legos. <gasps> Holy crap. Ha, fun. Look at my Lego Lou. It turned out so much more epic than I expected. Oh, I can't believe I did it. I mean, my little nephew cries about Legos all the time and now I truly understand him. How freaking cool. I didn't expect it to look like three-dimensional physical pixels. Now that does look exceptionally uncomfortable. Does my creation serve its purpose? Oh, I don't want to put my weight on it. I might collapse all of it, but I have to for science. I go to the bathroom. Oh my goodness. Wow, that is in fact painful. Beyond uncomfortable. Ow. Oh man, the edges. Okay. Oh no, I don't want to grab from my phone. This is a success. Fantastic! Just think how productive I'm gonna be now! I absolutely put my full weight on it and I could feel it starting to collapse. We got some fallen soldiers. Thank you for doing your duty. It held up way better than I expected. Oh, I will probably destroy it on YouTube Shorts, so subscribe to see that. And if you like this, you'll probably like seeing me grow a toilet out of living chi. I'll put that down there for you. Let's just take it for a spin. Hey, Best Pally, I'm Allie, and I've always thought of myself as down to earth, so I'm going to get my bottom as close to nature as possible. Yes. In this video, I will attempt to grow a Chia toilet seat. Now I say seat because that's the most important part. Obviously sitting on a living toilet seat is going to be epic, but lol pun. I always want to go as outrageous.